What's up guys, I'm Johnny Phantom. We're going to talk about all things Phantom, such as Disney, Star Wars, Harry Potter, whatever. If that's something you like, if you love theories and discussions about all these fandoms, you come to the right place. Make sure to like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's discussion. With the Haunted Mansion movie now coming out, I thought I'd talk about the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Three of the most iconic roles in the Haunted Mansion. We see them on both sides. We see them in the Eddie Murphy film as well as the new film. And they seem so innocent. According to the ride itself, they are somewhat of a villain. When you go into that portion of the ride, we see you know, the ghost hosts say to us, beware of the hitchhiking ghosts because they follow you home. So it's more of a sinister thing that they're going to hitch a ride with you and follow you home. They're quote unquote the last villain of the ride. But we know that the hitchhiking ghosts are harmless. We do see them pop up throughout other things in the Disney franchise itself. In the Eddie Murphy film, they're really just a, a quick cameo, as well as the new film, they're just a quick cameo to say, hey, Hitchhiking Ghost are here. And we know from the new film, spoiler alert, that the Hatbox Ghost is the true villain. Whereas the ride, there's quite a few villains. And yes, we do see the bride in the Haunted Mansion movie, but at the end, she kind of helps defeat that box ghost so she's not necessarily a villain either way we are going to discuss the hitchhiking ghost and their backstories let's get into it has two separate backstories, which is kind of hard to explain, but I'll get to that. So we know that the Hitchhiking Ghost's real names are Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. Now the first backstory of the Hitchhiking Ghost comes from the Ghost Gallery. Ghost Gallery was an unofficial series, was an unofficial series of Haunted Mansion characters that was created by Disney World cast members. So this is Disney World cast members getting together and coming with the backstories for all the different characters, the ones that we, you know, not necessarily see or know the backstory of. Like the bride, we know the bride had many husbands and would chop off her head and things like that, you know. So the typical stories in the ride itself, we see. You know, we see backstories of maybe like five different ghosts throughout the ride. However, there are 999 ghosts in the ride. So cast members got together and created this unofficial series called The Ghost Gallery, where they came up with backstories of each of those 999 ghosts. And because of the unofficial ghost gallery, these cast members actually created names for the Hitchin Ghost and it officially became their official names. They were just known as the Hitchhiking Ghost when they first were created and then eventually with these stories from the Ghost Gallery they became Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. These backstories of the Hitchhiking Ghost are a little dark so just a fair warning but then we'll get into the I guess the official story but here this is the backstory of Phineas. Professor Phineas Quig was a discredited chemist turned snake oil salesman who was committed to New Salem Insane Asylum after selling a miracle elixir. This miracle elixir caused the man who drank it voice to raise an octave. I can't raise my voice an octave. Never mind. So we'll get back to Phineas because it plays a part because all three Hitchhiking Ghosts 
play a role in this together. This is where it gets a little dark because Ezra's backstory is a little more inappropriate. It gives Ezra this feel that he is a little misogynistic and a really bad character. And I think... Anyway, Ezra Dobbins was disgusting criminal who enjoyed staking out overweight women who would break into their homes and watch them as they changed. Whereas after he would do this quite a few times, he was eventually arrested after he broke into Bodir of, of the mayor's ample daughter. After he was arrested, he was deemed criminally insane and also sent to New Salem Insane Asylum. Now we get into Gus. Gus Gacy was a genetic dwarf who lived in Ohio. Go figure. When he was a child, he killed his family pets and attempted to murder his siblings, siblings on several occasions. So Gus was a little, you know, his parents ultimately had him deemed out of control and insane, and they institutionalized him into New Salem Insane Asylum. All three, Phineas, Ezra, and Gus, all met up inside the New Salem Insane Asylum, became friends, and eventually all escaped together. But when they escaped, each of them died and became a ghost of the haunted mansion. Phineas died of lead poisoning when he cut his whip on one of his bottles of elixir. It's kind of an irony thing. You sell a bottle of elixir and then eventually you die from it. Gus died after peeping at the fat lady at the circus because she sat on him. Gus took his ball and chain that he still had on his ankle and threw it at a cat that was sitting on a well. Well, the cat jumped out of the way and his ball and chain went down the well and took him with him. That is the ghost galley backstory. However, there are other backstories, such as the Haunted Mansion comic books. We do get other information about Phineas, Gus, and Ezra from the comic books. Before we go into the second part of Phineas, Ezra, and Gus's backstory, let's take a quick word from our sponsor. Yeah, it tastes so good. This is Ray's energy drink. This flavor is called New. Oh, sorry. This flavor is called Melon Apple Shock. Ray's energy drink is the best damn energy drink you will ever have. Zero sugars, zero calories, full of electrolytes, and it is so good. It's got two types of caffeine. One that hits you straight away. I'm already feeling it. I'm wide awake now, and it's five o'clock in the morning. <sighs> anyway, second caffeine hits you slowly, so it keeps you alert the rest of the day. And Ray's Energy Drink is brought to you by Rep Sports. Rep Sports has a ton of other magnificent products for you. They have pre-workout mixes. They have cool down workout mixes. They have hydrate mixes to help you while you work out. They have hyper sleep. You take some of that before you go to bed, you wake up feeling refreshed. You don't even need this until maybe nine o'clock. They also have pancake mixes and other sorts of snacks. So go to repsports.com. That's R-E-P-P -P sports.com. Use coupon code Johnny Huey and save yourself 15% off. 
That's R-E-P-P-Sports.com. Coupon code J-O-N-N-Y-H-U-E-Y. Like Huey Duck. Save yourself 15% off your order. Go check them out right now and buy yourself a case of Ray's Energy Drink. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. And the flavors are so good. So good. I it's, it's all I drink. I don't drink Monster. I don't drink Red Bull. I don't drink Rockstar. I don't drink Rain. I don't drink any of that stuff. I choose about this. I'm never going back. Because this stuff is just so good. The flavors are so good. It, it, it's just, it does the best for me. The best energy that I've had in a long time. So thank you to Rep Sports and Raise Energy. Also, Raise Energy is Clash of Clans winners. They beat out Monster in the last competition. So go to websports.com and get the best damn energy drink you will ever have. Let's get back to today's video. Gus was a shepherd who only wanted so before we get all right. So the Haunted Mansion comic book was a series. They had the the main story of Haunted Mansion. Then they had some side stories of like the Hitchhiker Ghost had their own side story and things like that. So this is Disney's official explanation of their backstories, not what the cast members made up. Gus was a shepherd who only wanted to get some sleep. But everywhere he went to bed, <clears throat> he had bad luck until he was arrested in Port Royal until he died and found his way to the mansion. He soon wants to leave since the other ghost parties keep him awake and joins Ezra and Phineas. It doesn't really explain how he was arrested or why he was arrested. He just wants some sleep. He just wanted to be left alone. He doesn't want to, you know, party with all the other ghosts. So he's trying to hitchhike out of there. Hence the name Hitchhiking Ghost. So next time you go on a ride, maybe you uh, pick him up and take him away. Now we have Ezra. Now the comic books gave him a different last name as an Ezra Gazer. He was a prankster since childhood that ran a successful practical joke business. When he got older, Seeking out new jokes to help his business, he discovered Chinese finger traps from a mysterious salesman, but found himself unable to free himself. He laughed himself to death, and when he eat, and when was then invited to the haunted mansion, however, his pranks made the other ghost angry, resulting in him joining with Phineas and Gus. So he's trying to hitchhike out of there because the other girls don't like him. Phineas G. Hackenbush. Sorry. Now we get to Phineas. And Disney gives him the official name of Phineas Q. Hackenbush was a snake oil salesman, which we got from the original, that was chased by an angry mob given snake tongues by his miracle elixir. So when they drink the elixir, they tongues turn into like that. Well, well, well.
So he was chased off of a cliff by this angry mob. And after being invited to the mansion, he kept his business going. But when Madame Leota reminded everyone that they were already dead and he was chased out of the rest of the group and then joined Gus and Ezra. So the hitchhiking ghost, like you, I wouldn't see them as a villain necessarily. You know, the vibe portrays them as a villain that they want to, you know, follow you home and haunt. No, they just want to escape. They want to get out of there and far away from the mansion as much as possible because, you know, they made the mistakes. You have to forgive them. So next time you go to Haunted Mansion, let them sit in your buggy and let them follow you home. Take them away and let them live their lives. Because it's not their fault. You see the way they grew up. They just have this mindset that they need to keep doing these things. And they have to keep doing them. So let them do them away from the mansion. So the hitchhiking ghost just want to escape. They don't want to be part of the 99, 999 happy haunts because they're not happy haunts. They are part of a group that is just isolated from the rest. They don't sit there and party with the rest of them because at the party scene that we see in the you know, the dining room there, and then we see the party scene in the cemetery. They're not there. They're on the outside before you leave. Trying to hit you out with you. So I hope that help the hitchhiking ghost and take them home with you. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. I post a video two times a week. And make sure you check out my merch store, link in the description down below. Hit that join button because I have videos that are just for, sorry, members. Videos just for members. So make sure you check out the link and click that join button down below. I also have a Patreon with the same thing. Content on there just for you and it helps me out a lot. So I appreciate it. See you guys next time. Before you go, make sure you check out this video right here and that video right there. And thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on Titch and Ghost. Do you think they're evil or do you think they're just misunderstood? And coming soon, link will be in the description down below. I have a podcast on Spotify. So go check it out and listen for new content exclusively for the podcast. This uh, clip will be on the podcast itself, just a uh, way to try to get it a little started and get the momentum going. But content on the podcast will be exclusively to the podcast. So if you like this kind of content and you wanna see more, go check out the podcast. Link will be in the description down below.